Hi, welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is grade 3, module 2. Write your name on here first. I'm going to kind of rush through these a little bit because there's a lot of work to do. Uh, but it's a video, so if I go too fast, pause it, go back over it, or skip ahead to the ones that you need to see, I will never know. Number one, find the sums below. Choose mental math or the algorithm. Now, I want to be perfectly clear here. Mental math does not mean you don't have to show your work. Uh, most third graders will find it easier to use the algorithm, which if you're a third grade parent, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's the regular carryover edition. So <clears throat> it looks just a tiny bit different, and I'll explain why when I come to an example. I'm just, just going to get going here. So um, the smaller numbers are you'll find easier to do mental math. So 75 centimeters plus 7 centimeters. This is really easy to do mentally because you're going to think here's the 75 and if I had 5 more it would be 80 and 2 more would make it 82. Five, the, the five and You think of the 7 as a 5 and a 2. So that really shows your mental math right there. And here's the equation to write. We're really thinking this 75 and that 5 it's 80. Oops. Eraser, please. 80 plus 2. 82. These three digit ones. 362. 229. These are easier to use than regular edition. 9 and 2 is 11. And here's the difference is we're going to put the 1 right here because we found that when we put it up top, as often we're used to, kids won't they'll forget to add it in so the hope is that if we put it down here in the middle down at the bottom they'll they won't overlook it and we have six plus two plus one and that's nine and then three and two five five hundred ninety one that's all i have to show for that here's another three digit one 151 339 one and nine that's ten so 110 here, 5 and 3, 8, 1 more is 9, 4 and 3 is 7, 39 and 56. Well, this 39 is almost 40, right? So think of this, it's 1 and 55. So it's 40 plus 55 equals 95. That's easier to do mentally. The two-digit addition ones are going to be easier to do mentally. And here's another example. This 283 and 92. You could try to do this mentally, but I think it's just going to be easier to do it this way, faster and easier to do it this way. And that's 375. Oh, don't forget the units. I almost forgot all the units here. This is kilograms. This is milliliters. This is milliliters. And this is centimeters. And then we have 149 and 331. That's 8. And this is 4. And it's liters, capital L for liters. Right, and even up here, so I'm so used to doing it putting the marks up high then I put it up high on this on number D right here it really should be here instead let me rewrite that and fix it there number two the liquid volume of five drinks is shown below this is the below that they're talking about in this table here and Jen, a girl usually, drinks the apple juice and the water. So there's the apple juice and there's the water. So she drinks those. How many milliliters does she drink in all? So she drinks that and this. And since it's a word problem, we're going to draw a labeled picture. All right, and this is the apple juice. We'll call that A. And this is the water. We'll call this W. Together, how much is it? The apple juice is 125. 
milliliters. The water is 248 milliliters. So we have to find the total. 125, 248, 13, 7. Ah, I did it again, didn't I? See, this really old habits die hard, don't they? It should go here, 7, and then that's 3. Right, and then we have 373 milliliters that's already written out for us down here. Now we have Kevin. He drinks the milk and the fruit punch. So he's drinking the fruit punch and the milk. How many milliliters does he drink in all? So here's the milk, 236 milliliters and more. I'm going to add it on like that. So then we have the fruit punch 208. We'll label it F for fruit punch and this is the M for the milk 236 fruit punch 208. And we have to find out what is both of, what are both of them put together. How much is it? Uh, this one you, you could try to do this one mentally. But I think showing your work is going to, it's just going to be easier to show your work using the, using the regular algorithm four and four. Now we have to write our answer statement down here. Kevin drinks 444 milliliters in all. And now we're on next page, number three. 75 students in grade three. There are 44 more students in grade four than in grade three. How many students are in grade four? So here we have, which one is more? Grade three or grade four? Well, grade four has more. It says right here, grade four has more. So uh, here's grade four, G4. And we know how many are in grade, this is grade three, is going to be less. Grade three, grade four is more, grade three has to be less. Grade three we know is 75 students. I'll just write ST for students. That's 75 students. And grade four has, this is, we know the more here. Sorry, the more. This is the more. It's 44. 44 more. So if this is 75, it's the same as this part, 75. How many are in grade four? It's this 75 plus the 44 more, 75 plus 44, 9, 11, 119. There are, oops, there are, <laughs> sorry, this is pretty sloppy, but it's kind of hard to write with this. Let me, let me erase that so I can do a proper job of it. It's important for this to be readable. Uh, we'll start it way over here. There are 119 students in grade four. Mr. Green's sunflower grew 29 centimeters in one week. The next week, it grew five centimeters more than the previous week. What is the total number of centimeters the sunflower grew in two weeks? So it didn't grow five centimeters more in the previous week. In the second week, it grew five more than it did before. So uh, let's just draw a picture of it. Okay, so week one. Week one, we know. Week one was 29 
centimeters. Week two was the same as week one, it grew, but five more. So week two is 29 plus five more cm cm and now we have to figure out what is the total number of these two put together in the two weeks so this 29 and 5 you could do this mentally it's going to be 30 plus 4 or 34 cm so we have to we're going to have to add the 29 and the 34. 9 and 4, 13, put the 1 there. And then 2 and 3 is 5, 1 more is 6. So the sunflower, oop, that elegant right there, grew 63 cm in two weeks and that's a lot but sunflowers grow fast Kylie records the weights of three objects shown below we have a paperback book a banana and a bar of soap which two objects can she put on a pan balance to equal the weight of a 460 gram bag. Show how you know. So the question here is about, a pan. I'm gonna just draw the pan balance, right? So here's a pan and it's gonna balance here with another pan. And there's the balancing point right there. So it's gonna balance with a 460 gram bag. So here's a bag, 460 grams and so two of and somehow i gotta find two of these three things which two of those three things will add up to this 460. so i'm going to use a method i'm going to guess and check so we need 460 right let's look at the paperback book 343. well 343 that 108 would be, if it was just 100, I'm gonna round up in my head, round it up to 110. That would be 453. It wouldn't be quite the same as, there wouldn't be quite enough. The paperback book and the banana wouldn't be quite enough. I'm gonna try it with the bar of soap and see what happens. So that we're gonna, I'm gonna try the 343 and the 117 and see if that adds up to the 460. Now, if you add the banana and the bar of soap together, you're only going to get like a little over 200, and you're going to be nowhere near the 460. You're just looking at the 100 here and the 100 here. So you're going to have to use the paperback book somehow. So this is my best guess at what is going to be the first one to add. Now, if you could choose a different one and check it, and it doesn't work out to 460, then add the other one. We'll just see what happens here. Three, there's a 10. Oops, I did it again, didn't I? It's a hard habit to break when you learn it one way. Okay, there we go. So four and two more is six. And then we have this three and this one. That's we it worked out. Okay. 460 grams. So we need the paperback book. This is the book. And this is the soap. So uh, uh, uh. We're going to try these two things here, and I'm going to finish my picture. That's the book, and this is the soap at 117, and those should be the same as the 460, and that should balance, because they're, they, when you add them together, they're the same weight as the 460 gram bag. So, the book... And the soap, all A, P, Neat. neaten that up a little bit. The book and the soap 
together equal I'm just taking the equal the weight of a equal the weight of the bag And you have to have all of this. You've got to have some kind of a picture. You could use a tape diagram instead of this math picture, this picture of the pan balance. And you've got to show your method somehow. If you did this mentally, great one. Good on you. But you have to show your mental process somehow. Either in like arrowway is a way to do it, number bonds, whatever. But uh, the, usually this is the easier way to show your work because it's a paper and pencil method and we're doing it on paper with pencil.